Hey, how are you? Today we're at the Starbucks Reserve Roastery in Shanghai, China. It is the largest Starbucks in the world, and just like Taco Bells in China, they serve booze. Let's check it out. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. like Charlie and the Coffee Factory. This place is enormous. That tube right there is where Augustus Gloop would get sucked up into uh, if this was Charlie and the Coffee Factory. It looks like it's divided up into different areas of the globe. This is the Asia Pacific region. In the back they have a, a Latin American region. And beers. Let's grab some pichos. Anyhow, Ooh, uh, see, this is this is all in Chinese. Is that the English menu? Uh, yes, yes. I'll have a craft beer flight. Yeah. Wow. A yuzu IPA, a Kenya grapefruit IPA, and a Guatemala Imperial Stout. This is not your average Starbucks, right? Okay. So while they do sell booze here, it's still a Starbucks, very much. Like, I don't think I'm just gonna start shooting the shit with this guy. You know, I don't think like I'm gonna spill out all my sorrows to this bartender because she's a barista. And you don't do that to baristas. It's just a, a little pretentious. Yuzu as tart. Pinkies up when you're drinking craft beer in a Starbucks. Whoa, this one actually tastes like coffee. So we've got the tart, we've got the bitter. The coffee one was the Kenya grapefruit one. My mind just exploded. Since when do Kenyan grapefruits taste like coffee? Anything can happen in the magical world of Starbucks. It's magical, isn't it? Henku. Yeah. It's the biggest, confirmed. At first I thought this whole coffee factory thing was just for show. I'm starting to think they're actually brewing coffee. Or they're actually like showing us the whole process. Shinzai ni Um, I just put the green coffee into this stage. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and you can see the line. Our, uh, our coffee is running in the line. Going to the okay. And, and, and then we can uh, get the coffee into the uh, roaster and we'll roast it. Ah, so these are the green beans? So yes. these are like the raw beans yes. before they've been roasted? Yeah. Have you seen the robing? Robing? Yeah. No, I don't think so. They're about to robe some coffee beans. Oh, raw beans. Ah, yes. It's the coffee green bean. We uh, just use the raw bean. Mm -hmm. And it will, um, in, 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 the ro uh, in the roaster, it will be uh, seeing the water out. Mm -hmm. You can see, uh, maybe there are uh, 20, uh, 12 to 15% uh, water in the coffee. That was painfully boring. Let's go get drunk. This is the cocktail lounge. Uh, could I try one Emerald City Mule? So this one is no, no alcohol. So oh, no. Wow. So if you want alcohol, there's a here. Cold brew, lemon sour. It's made of cold brew, maple syrup, whiskey, and lemon. Sounds great, right? Um, but then right here it says it's 0.95% alcohol. That is not a cocktail. That is not a cocktail. And then right here, the Melrose Street, it's uh, infused with a liquor-soaked Marciano cherry, our version of a Manhattan, 0.5% alcohol. Once again, not a cocktail. I can't tell if this is the world's best coffee shop or the world's shittiest bar. The only thing that's packing a punch is the citrus mint mojito, which is 6.25, so I'm gonna try that. 
Could I also have the silver needle tea ale? I don't think I've ever had a tea ale before. That is refreshing. On a hot day? I'm a big fan of this. I'll probably never get it again, but I'm a fan of this. It, it tastes great. We're looking at a 4.5% ABV, kind of like your normal Bud Light. It tastes better than a Bud Light, though. Well, I don't know if, if I should say that, but uh, it tastes good. Let's just say that. This, my friends, is a summer's drink. And they offered me a water. It's a soda water. That's how you know this place is fancy. Just dishing out free seltzers left and right. Let's move on to, um, I forget what this is called, but this is the uh, Starbucks version of a Manhattan. I believe it's 0.5% uh, alcohol. So if you like being sober and jacked up on caffeine, this is the Manhattan for you. Yeah, this is just a cold brew, but they serve it in like a fancy cocktail glass and they put a, a Marciano cherry on top and uh, boom, you got yourself a cocktail. Dunzo. 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 The best part of waking up is a cold brew, non-alcoholic Manhattan in your cup. Let me guess, you're unemployed, but you tell your friends you're an entrepreneur? No. Oh, no? Okay, yeah, all right, cool. You're a shark fan? Oh, yeah. Love the sharks. How about you? Yeah, man, I work there. Oh, really? He works for the sharks. That's awesome. Do you know who the next uh, foreign players will be? Yeah. Not really. I think Coach is still working on it. He's still working on it? Okay, so I, I, I can't get the inside scoop? No. I really Yo, you know. really don't know, yeah, yeah. Here we have Howard Schultz. Big Cat interviewed him for uh, his Corp podcast. Meanwhile, his co-workers is out in China getting absolutely blasted at his largest establishment in China and the world. I wonder how Seattle feels about Shanghai, China having a larger Starbucks than them. Can't feel great about that. What would that be the equivalent of? That'd be like fucking China having a larger Dunkin' Donuts than Massachusetts. Starbucks Pizzeria. They've got, a, they've got mad pizzas here. I gotta try a slice. All right, Frankie. Starbucks Roastery, Shanghai, China. I got an asparagus, Italian sausage, and mushroom pizza. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Very thick, very thick. It's almost like deep dish, but on the Asian pizza scale, we're looking at like an 8.6. On the just global pizza scale, might have to knock it down to like a 7.4, but still, this is good fucking pizza for China. Good pizza for Starbucks. Actually though, this one piece of pizza was 78 RMB, which is around 12 US dollars. Holy shit. Okay, uh-uh. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this down a few points. I just paid 12 bucks for a piece of pizza. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, I don't even know if I got the receipt. I gotta expense this. Very good pizza, very shitty price point. Yeah, can I get a Prosecco to go and a uh, stout, Guatemalan stout? I've spent more at this Starbucks in the past hour than I do at like a, a a Saturday night at a fancy club. Okay. Even even she's laughing. They even have like their own clothing store here. So if you've ever wanted to wear a jacket made out of a coffee bean sack, it's only gonna cost you about 10 bucks north of $200. Yikes. That was a good Prosecco. Finish off an Americano. Oh, brain freeze. 
I've never gotten a brain freeze from iced coffee in my life. Ow. All right. I can't tell if I'm drunk or wired, but I'm definitely something right now, which means it's time to go. Starbucks Roastery, the pleasure was all on this side of the counter. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. Really fucking weird. Holy fucking shit.